is Wemachai. I'm here to testify about my family's protection. First, I'll start by testifying about my mom. Around 2000, uh, 2021, 2022, my mom fell. She just fell. It was around the time of preparing for my wedding. She fell and hit with the breast. So in the breast, there was just a small lump because I remember I went to see her. It was so small, you know, smaller than the, you know, the, the, the pinky nail. So it grew. It grew so big. Last year, it was as heavy as a half a liter. Uh, I, you know, I continued praying for her, and she was using the, the mediums as well, also the, the calendar. She would sleep on top of the calendar. And um, towards December, it, it became worse because it started to pain. I remember one day I was taking a picture of her, and then she said to me, I know you young people, you take our pictures and you show the whole world. So now we are going to take a picture of my breast and show the whole world. Okay, so two months ago, you know, she, 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 she was always going with my sister to Paraguanath Hospital because they said she must take um, the medication or treatment for cancer. They are, they are not sure what it is because it's hard as rock. So they gave her that medication and she called me. She said, I must go home. I went and she sent me. She said, please go to the prophet. Go and tell my son to pray for me because I must now go for the operation. I came to church. I told um, mama and mama passed the message to, to our father in the Lord. And um, they said she must come. I went to tell her. She said, uh, tell the prophet that she said the word, and I believe in the word. The word of God is, is more than anything. Then uh, she went for, just before she went for, for operation, my other brother got sick, and I went home because I wanted to see her. I couldn't come for the two consecutive weeks for the one night with the king because I was running up and down for the family matters. Uh, I went there, and she went... Um, for the operation. The operation was successful. She went with, uh, I don't know what it's called, something to drain out the, the clots. And they were not clots at all. It was just small blood, a few drops. And I asked her if she was feeling any pain. She said, no, I don't feel any pain, not at all. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. You may continue. Okay, uh, she went back this week on Wednesday for the checkup. They said everything is fine and they took away that, uh, I don't know what it is called, I don't want to violate medical terms, uh, that thing that he was used to, to draw out the blood. So they took it out, she's fine, she's home. So, Mama, after the operation that your mother had, after how long did you go home? Uh, after the operation, I was amazed, really, because my mom is uh, an elderly person. She's 82. They did the operation today. The next day, she was good to go. She was Hallelujah! At the moment of the operation, or a couple of days before rather, are there any mediums that you used on your mom before she went for the operation? Yes, um, she always uses uh, Rafa anointing oil, salt, uh, everything that I tell her to use, she uses, she sleeps on the calendar, and yeah. We, we've been using, even the time she called me, because when she called me to say, I must rush home. I had to turn back home because it was very late. She said, I, I want you. Didn't they tell you that I need you agently? So I didn't know what was happening. When I got there, I said, uh, she said to me, I needed my firstborn. Please just wash my feet and apply the rough anointing oil. I did that. And she said, also anoint me. Remember to anoint the breast as well. And the word of, of the prophet is done. I'm healed. 
Amen and amen. Mama, we thank you so much for your wonderful testimony and we pray that God blesses you with many more testimonies to come. Before we close off your testimony, may you please share a word of advice to people who may be going through the same situation as you did. Okay, uh, I have a second testimony. The second testimony, before I give the word of advice, is about my brother. In one uh, service on Sunday, prophets prophesied that he sees um, a person who is driving, it's a, a bus or a minibus, and my brother has um, a taxi. So he asked us to stand up and he was calling, asking us, what is it that uh, the, those people are doing? Then I explained that my, my brother is driving um, a taxi. And I forgot on the day that just two weeks before my, my brother got um, an accident in a taxi, but because I always pray for them, uh, he, he was never injured, but the taxi is beyond repair. So a uh, prophet said they must get the anointing oil and go, uh, I mean, and anoint their buses, all those people who are driving buses or mini buses or taxis. So I called my brother and told my brother about the, the prophecy and I said, please do it, go home because they, they have oil, I've left oil there, take one and go and anoint your, your taxi. He said to me, but it's where they are supposed to fix it. I said, it's okay, just go there by faith, praying in your heart, it's your taxi, they can't stop you from going there. He went and started anointing the, the taxi. And at the time of anointing the taxi, the process of, uh, you know, even replacing, it was just stagnant. They were not uh, doing anything or replying. After anointing, then they said they are going to replace the taxi. Okay, that is the first testimony. The second testimony about him, I once came here to, to share to you the greatness of God about my one brother who was um, released from jail after 24 years. So he was not feeling well the same time my mom was not feeling well. So my brother, the, the one who was driving a taxi, went to see my brother. The one who was, okay, I'll not call their names. The one who, who was from jail. And um, I just said to him, you know what, just, just do as if uh, praying, do as if you are actually massaging, especially where you say muscles are pulling, because they were pulling and he would scream and clinch as if he's feeling very pain. So when I talked to the one who was in pain, he was now, you know, over the phone, I could hear him screaming and laughing and talking. So I talked to him, he said to me, no, I'm fine, uh, big brother came with this oil, the one that you brought here, and you, he used it on me, and now I'm fine. So my brother actually anointed him with the oil. So now on his way back, he didn't take a taxi. He, they say he said he, he wants to walk, but it was late. He, he came across four, four, yes, four youth boys, three were having the bed uh, sticks, one was having a punker. So he says when they approached him, they just spread out. And the one with the panga uh, approached him and said, um, meaning a big man. And he said he was wondering what is happening. And then he just lifted up the panga. The others took the bag he was having. And this one wanted to hit him with the panga on the, on the head. And he said when he did that, he blocked with his, with his arm. So his arm is actually... It was, before they, they, they operated, it, the, the, the thing was so deep. He said they rushed him. Actually, it's a long story. I'll cut it short because he ran and they were chasing him. A bicycle came and ran over them. They fell down. They stood up and they said, it's not you we want. Go where you are going. It's that one we are looking for. And they chased my brother until he turned into one of the streets. When he turned, a taxi came. He said he ran very fast and stood in front of the taxi and another car from one yard was reversing. So they turned and lit, you know, towards him. The light was now putting him on the center and those boys saw that they are going to be seen and they ran away. Now with this one of the light, I said to him, you know, at church, uh, the past Sunday, we were t uh, praying about the light of God that it must come upon us. And I prayed for you, my family members. That was the light of God that came upon you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Master Jesus.
Mama, may you please describe the power of the mediums that we use in this church? Uh, children of God, I've seen the power of the mediums. I, I've seen them, you know, from day one when I came. Um, you know, it's on, not only oil, salt, honey, and even the, those uh, prayer points. Those prayer points have got power. You can take them anywhere you go. You can use them because they are anointed. Uh, all these miracles, child of God, they don't just come. You know, you you'll have to open your heart. Open your heart and wholeheartedly be in the prayer persistently. You know, our Father in the, in the Lord always say we must pray persistently. Even when you walk on the street, you wake up to go to the bathroom. In your heart, pray every time. When we Mama, we thank you so much for your wonderful testimony and we pray that God blesses you with many more testimonies to come. May you please share with us a wonderful word of advice for people who are going through the same situation as you did. Okay, uh, I think I've already partly given the advice. So what I can say is that um, for our family members, we are called, I believe by God, to be intercessors. And as intercessors, we cannot retreat, you, can, you can't turn back, you must have faith in God. And God is going to give you strength to fight for your family members. Put your hands together for Master Jesus.